Hi, this is Rachel with Sparkly Jewels with Rachel. I've had a few people ask me to speak about matchy match jewelry. Those are the pieces that all go together. The earrings match, the necklace matches, the bracelet matches, everything. There's a ring, everything all goes together. Or it may just be one or two pieces go together. But they are the ones that are an identical set. It's not necessarily that I don't like matchy match. It's that I think that there's a little bit more creativity that could be expressed. Um, I think that a lot of times the matching earrings don't necessarily complement the necklace. I think a lot of times by pulling pieces from another collection, it'll complement the, the necklace or the bracelet or whatever you're wanting to showcase in a better way than if you're, wa if you're wearing what matches identically. In these examples that I've created, I just don't think that it's the best use. But first, let me show you some that I really do like together. First of all, this bracelet is discontinued, but it is one of my all-time favorites. This is Casablanca. You can see it's very, very vintage. Let me move this over. There we go. Sorry, it's having a hard time focusing there. So this is the Casablanca bracelet, and here is the matching ring. Again, it's very, very similar. I do really like wearing this set together. There is a necklace, which I'll show you on Helga in another episode. But what I would do is I would wear the bracelet on one hand and the ring on another. So then they're complementing each other and they're not taking away from each other. So that's an example of something that's really, really good. The reason is because all these pieces are very cohesive and they don't detract from one another. Um, I think a lot of the pieces they really do detract. So I'll show you some examples of ones that I'm not so fond of. The accessories on the right are heavy. It's bringing down the airiness of the whole outfit. I really like the red, black, and white combo. It's very crisp. It's very classic. But when you're wearing the whole matching set, it doesn't give the eye a place to land. You want to mix it up a little bit. The earrings are going to be a little bit more burnished with the image on the right. But again, it all ties in together. Normally your, your wrist isn't going to be right up against your, your neck unless you're maybe sleeping at the desk. So having a chunkier bracelet is really a great idea. It's going to tie in the necklace with the bracelet, but you want to balance it with smaller petite earrings. Unless you're a very curvy woman, most women are not able to pull off a heavy, heavy look. And then on the opposite hand of the bracelet, it's a good idea to wear a ring of the same weight but not the same color as the necklace. Again, the pants and the necklace should be probably about the same tonal quality, and the shirt and the bracelet and ring and earrings should all be about the same tonal quality. So you can see that the bracelet, the ring, and the earrings and the shirt are all lighter and airier. More airy? Airier? Whatever. The necklace and the pants will tie in together and then that red is just a real pop of color. It gives more impact than if it's black, white, black, white, black, white. Oh, here's red. So by adding the third or the fourth color rather, which would be the gold, it just adds a little bit more versatility.